Alprazolam, also known as Xanax, belongs to a class of medications known as benzodiazepines. They act as a central nervous system depressant. Xanax is not only one of the most prescribed benzodiazepine, but it is the most commonly prescribed psychoactive medication in the United States, accounting for more than 48 million prescriptions dispensed in 2013. Based on the National Emergency Department data, Xanax is the most common benzodiazepine to be involved in ED visits related to drug misuse. The drug has a variety of uses such as its effect on relieving anxiety, managing seizure disorders and acting as anaesthetic. The drug is mainly used for its calming and relaxing effects. It acts by enhancing the inhibitory neurotransmitter gamma aminobutyric acid or GABA for short. GABA acts on brain cells known as neurons. Neurons carry out the electrical activity in the brain enabling its functions. High concentrations of GABA and GABA-A receptors are found in the limbic system, an area of the brain where feelings, emotions and memories are generated and stored. GABA acts on GABA-A receptors which are located on ligand-gated iron channels. When GABA binds to its receptors, it opens the channel and lets chlorine ions enter the cell. These negatively charged ions cause the cell to become hyperpolarized, in other words, super negative. This then disrupts the ion balance, which results in no depolarization and therefore no electrical signal passing through, dampening neuronal activity. In some instances, the brain can either have too much excitatory neurotransmitters or too little inhibition by the inhibitory neurotransmitters. This can cause rapid and constant firing of neurons, leading to disorders such as anxiety, seizures and epilepsy. This is where the use of benzodiazepines such as alprazolam can be used to dampen the overactivity. This short-acting benzodiazepine targets the GABA-A receptors, but they bind to a separate site from GABA. For the drug to work, they both bind to the GABA-A receptor together, opening the channel more frequently and allowing more chloride ions in, therefore increasing the inactivity of the neuron. Xanax has a half-life of around 10 to 14 hours. Its effects last around 4 hours. The side effects of this drug can include drowsiness, lapse in concentration, a difficulty in problem solving, and a reduction in reaction time. It can also cause paradoxical stimulation in other parts of the brain, which can lead to talkativeness, excitement, and irritability. As Xanax has a short half-life, its effects wear off fairly quickly and therefore might have to be taken a number of times throughout the day depending on the severity and the type of symptoms experienced. The high frequency use can lead to a tolerance buildup, which is then counteracted by an increase in dosage. This level of chronic use can lead to dependency and addiction. This is particularly dangerous with recreational users that often combine the drug with alcohol and other drugs to enhance its effects. This can be very harmful and could possibly lead to death. Chronic users can experience withdrawal symptoms if they suddenly discontinue the drug. This can include insomnia, anxiety and seizures. Treatment can include replacement with other benzodiazepines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.